Hi, and welcome to Noise Vortex. Today's video is a new episode of Looking Back, and the album I want to talk about today is Dark Tranquility's The Gallery. The Gallery is a bit of an underrated classic of melodic death metal, and you're going to say underrated, but The Gallery is one of the most revered albums in the genre, and you'd be right. But we all know what also happened in 1995. In fact, The Gallery and Slaughter of the Soul came out in the same month, only about two weeks apart from each other. And while at the gates always were most strongly rooted in death metal and in flames had that sort of folk inspired straightforwardness about them, Dark Tranquility always had the most prominent heavy metal influences, especially on the gallery. Among the big three of the genre, Dark Tranquility also always had an air of maturity about them because of their progressive and ambitious songwriting. However, before the gallery could become reality, some pieces had to fall into place. After the band's debut album Skydancer, Anders Frieden left the band to later join In Flames and Mikael Stanne stepped up from playing guitars to doing vocals. On the following of Chaos and Eternal Night EP, Dark Tranquility gave a taste of what was to come with blazing, urgent tracks with prominent melodic leads and the romantic themes that would become a core aspect of the genre. Because as much as melodic death metal is a fusion of death metal and heavy metal, Romanticism, grandeur, passion, emotional themes are also an integral part of the genre sound. And this passion and youthfulness are among the defining qualities of the gallery as it sets itself apart from its peers with Mediterranean themes lifted from Greek mythology and fervent performances. For example, album opener Punish My Heaven with its flurries of high-pitched notes and fiery melodies backed by a prominent bass and fronted by Stannis' hawkish screams. Really, despite being one of the busiest songs on the album, this track really shows the strengths of the band's songwriting on here as they move through and play with motifs with a strong sense of coherence. Another songwriting staple of this era of Dark Tranquility is present on the track Eden Spring. After first descending during the intro, the track repeatedly breaks into sprints as the band raises the frequency and the intensity of the charges throughout the song. The band also uses this cyclical style of songwriting on the album's most intense track, Midway Through Infinity, with its blast beats and racing guitars that get more and more intense throughout the song. Songs like the title track on here really underline the potential of the genre as the band experiments with cross-stick drumming, acoustic guitars, more prominent bass sections and female guest vocals that were a common appearance on many melodic death metal albums at the time and the gallery even features a number of them. On this track Stana also delivers one of his most memorable performances on the album with the lyrics about the eternal struggle between the artist and his art. And the only track on here that rivals this passion and this sort of lyrical romanticism is Lethe which is about one of the rivers from the underworld in Greek mythology, the waters of which cause one to forget about their life. The gallery ends with a duo of songs, minus the grandeur of Melancholy Burning, the first part of which is a playful Mediterranean acoustic guitar piece with large drums that transitions into the final and longest track on the album. Of Melancholy Burning draws parallels to songs like Of Silence and To Firmament Withdrew or the title track and takes it to another level with more pronounced interplay in a concept framed by acoustic guitars. All the ambition, the daring and the innovation on the gallery really cannot be overstated. At once the album is the clearest vision of a synthesis between death metal and heavy metal with its tight interplay and well-developed melodies, but it also pushes the envelope with its frequent excursions and wide range of influences. Every member of the band gets their share of the spotlight on here and they all make impressive use of it, each one at the top of their games and aiming for the next level. The gallery is not just a masterclass of melodic death metal, it also underlines the potential that is still hidden away within the genre. As the influence of albums like Slaughter of the Soul was felt much more strongly in the years to come, boundary pushing alternatives like the gallery fell by the wayside in comparison. Still, 25 years later the gallery remains a testament to the strengths of the genre and the dreams of a young band that had all the talent and the promise behind them. <laughs> Alright, that's it from me. Please leave your thoughts about this album in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and consider subscribing. If you do, remember to hit the bell so you get notified about new videos as they come out. Over here right next to me you can find the previous episode of Looking Back. Thank you for watching, have a good one and I'll see you next time.